Hey guys, I have another ficus planting or propagating video, um, very similar to the last one, but I'm going to be trying three techniques and I'm going to see which one works the best and then you guys can kind of determine which way you want to go with it. I already did the ficus in water, it's just in a vial of water and I wrapped some tin foil around it for, um, so it's nice and dark for the new roots and that's just a ficus cutting in water. So we already have that technique in just water. Next I'm going to do more like your traditional um, propagating techniques with most other plants. I have a nice seed starting soil that you can get at most um, department stores that uh, sell some sort of plants. I have that filled up. It's already nice and moist in a little pot. I'm going to take a toothpick and just pretty much have a make a small um, divot in the center of the pot. Then you take a, another ficus cutting. I already have one prepared. Once again, cut all those leaves off except for the top one. Remembering to use nice sharp pruners. I'm actually going to leave these two because they're pretty small. Um, I'm going to make one more clean cut at a 45 degree angle, making it nice and clean. And then I'm going to take a rooting hormone, once again, at any um, department store will have this, uh, or like a home goods store will most likely have some sort of a rooting compound. I haven't really found any difference in brand, so just go ahead and pick up the one that your store provides. You unscrew that, um, and dip the end of your ficus cutting in a little bit of water, and then go ahead and put it in the rooting hormone, and you can see all that nice white powder, and that's just gonna promote some root growth. So I'll pop that in the soil, get it nice and deep, and pack it down so it stays up on itself. Now all I have to do with this is keep that soil nice and moist, and never let it fully dry out, and I should get roots in about a week. Now the third and final technique, I've never actually tried, but I've done it with a lot of my orchids, is Lekka beads. They're basically clay beads that are very porous, but then when there's water at the bottom of the cup, they absorb the water and hold humidity within the whole um, uh, cup itself, even though it's not sitting directly in water. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. I've never done this with ficuses before, but I don't see why it wouldn't work, and I'll let you guys know if it does. So all the leaves come off. And you're generally going for a stem about this big. You can do bigger, um, but you want it to be nice flimsy wood. So I'm gonna bury this down in the leca beads, kind of shake them up to loosen it down. And then all I have to do is fill the cup about an inch up. It's not even touching the ficus yet, but the leca beads will absorb the water and keep the humidity in there. So I've got my three techniques right in front of me. Just straight water, the leca, the leca uh, beads or balls, whatever you want to call them, that's going to absorb the water and keep it nice and humid, and then your traditional in starter soil. I'll let you guys know what works best and show you some results in maybe a week or two. So thanks for watching. If you like this, you can click over to my ficus propagation and that just basically shows you how to do the first one, first technique. Okay, thanks for watching.